boys and girls, you found me in my basement. I was just collecting some length measurement tools to discuss today's lesson. Now, in third grade, we measure length using U.S. customary measurements, which are inches, feet, and yards. Today, I'll show you what those look like, and I'll also show you what we can do to measure when we don't have measurement tools handy. Well, let's start with this right here. Now, this is actually a meter stick, and we're not talking about meter sticks today. We actually want it, we are talking about yardsticks. I don't have a yardstick anywhere handy, so I thought I would saw off the end of my meter stick to make it the length of a yardstick. So a meter stick is just over 39 inches long. I saw my yardstick at 36 inches long, so this now is the exact length of one yard. This is the biggest measurement that we will be looking at. Now let's talk about the smallest measurement that we'll be working with today. The smallest measurement is one inch. This little inchworm right here is the exact length of one inch. If you were to snap 12 of these inches together, with no gaps, no overlaps, just like we talked about when we learned area, if you snap 12 of them together, you would have exactly one foot. Therefore, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So again, we have our inch, our foot, and our yardstick. But what happens when we don't have these tools available? Can we still measure things? Well, actually, yes, we can. What we need to have in our mind is a benchmark or a visual of what these measures look like. So for example, for, let's start with the inch. Now, a lot of times I don't have a ruler handy, yet I'm trying to figure out how many inches long something is. The other day I was at the store shopping for school supplies for my son and his teacher wanted me to pick up three inch by five inch index cards. Well, I don't carry a ruler with me typically, but I needed to measure the cards to make sure they were the same length. Well, I know the edge of my thumb is the same length as one inch, so with no gaps or overlaps, I measured to see how long the index cards were. One inch, two inches, three inches. So when I don't have something handy to measure in inches, this is my benchmark or my visual for one inch. Now, what can I do for one foot? I used to think I could just measure, well, I used to think I could just measure my feet, but I realized I have really small feet and most people actually do not have a foot measuring one foot in length. But wait a second, I might not be able to use my foot to measure something one foot in length, but hey, look at this floor tile right here. This floor tile is one foot wide. And if you were to measure any of your floor tiles at your school, the floor tiles at your school would also be one foot long. But you know, we don't usually carry around floor tiles either. So we need to think of something that we always have on us. That then I noticed something, that from the tip of my thumb to the little indenty point in my elbow is one foot long. I used this the other day when I was buying these boxes right here. I knew I could fit my arm in each shelf, so I knew each shelf was one foot deep. So then I just needed to make sure that my boxes were about one foot long, and yep, yeah, it measures from the tip of my thumb to that little indenty point in my elbow, so this box is also one foot deep. Who knew that we could use our body as a measurement tool? Now finding a benchmark or a visual that measures one yard in length is a little bit trickier. But then I realized I have Reagan, and Reagan is exactly one yard tall. However, I know lots of you don't have Reagans at home to use as a visual or a benchmark for one yard, so then I realized something. Reagan, would you go stand by the door, kiddo? Yeah. Go ahead. And I'm going to take your hat off for a moment. And look at that. So Reagan is about the same height as any standard doorknob, and any standard doorknob is just at 36 inches tall 
or one yard tall. So if you need to visualize the height or the length of one yard, you can think about how tall or how high off the ground your doorknob is. Or if you have a Reagan at home, you could just think about how tall Reagan is. So boy, boys and girls, I have one challenge for you today. There's going to be lots of times in your life when you need to measure something and you don't have measurement tools handy. So today, your challenge is to look around your house and find things that measure one inch in length, one foot in length, and one yard in length. Have a good day, boys and girls. Bye.